Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and in this video I am going to be shooting the Milky Way. Yes it's been a long time since I've been out shooting the Milky Way. Um, you know the, this year's just been a bit of a nightmare really and um, it's not been easy to get out places. Uh, we, we were locked down earlier in the year, we missed a lot of stuff during then and uh, and then when we got into summer we had some really really bad weather, well stormy weather um, I was taking pictures of that but uh, it wasn't very good for shooting the uh, the Milky Way. So anyway we're, we're now into September and um, September is a really really good time to, to, to photograph the Milky Way because we've got the darker skies coming back and we can still see the galactic core and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm not going to go too far from home. Now I live in Blackpool as most of you probably know and we've got the illuminations on this time of the year. There's lights all over the place. The illuminations aren't really such a problem. It's more the pleasure beach. If you know the pleasure beach, they have these massive floodlights that light up the roller coaster and it just sends loads and loads of light up into the air. And then it's behind me here, sort of over that direction there. From my garden, I can see the glow in the sky over that direction there. I'll probably show you an example of it later on when I go out. Now I'm going to go down to St Anne's, which is just down the road. And the reason I'm going down there is because we're going to get away from Blackpool. Now I'm going to go onto the beach as well. Now, St Anne's Pier kind of runs sort of southwest, and there's a jetty at the end of the pier as well. So I'm going to be going down to the jetty, and that's where I'm going to be doing my Milky Way photography later on. And I'm going to take you through everything that I do, the setup, the settings, all that sort of stuff. And we're going to go back to basics. I'm not going like driving miles away from home. I don't want to do that tonight. I might do that later in the week. But I'm just going to go back to basics and just take you through all the settings and, and show you. Let's see what we can see. And hopefully we'll get a shot of the galactic core because in September we still have a chance to see the galactic core of the Milky Way. So we're looking for the Sagittarius region. Uh, I'll just show you a picture on the screen now. So we're looking for the, um, the teapot shape of stars which points the way to the galactic core. Now we should still be able to see this at this time of year, but we need to get it early. Um, once we get into October, sort of, you know, it, it's mostly set by then. So September is probably the last month at this latitude, unless you're further south. If you're further south, then you might get it for a bit longer into October. Uh, but certainly where I am, 53 degrees north, um, Sagittarius, towards the end of September it starts to set and then when we get into October then it's kind of gone there. doesn't mean you can't still shoot the Milky Way but the better part of it will have gone by the time we get into October. So yeah the St Anne's I'm just going to show you a picture of uh, the light pollution that we're up against here in the northwest and as you can see it's uh, pretty horrible over Blackpool but when we go down to St Anne's and we're looking over the sea because we're looking towards the southwest, we want to be looking towards the southwest, that's where Sagittarius is going to be early on. And we want to get it fairly early, so I'll be looking at maybe between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the evening. So um, that's when it's going to get sort of properly dark as well, when the sun gets so low be below the horizon. So, so I'm going to do that. We'll wait for it to get dark. And uh, next time you see me, I will be on the beach at St Anne's. So as you can see I've arrived here at St Anne's Pier and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head right out onto the beach past the main pier over to where the jetty is and uh, we'll see if we can start getting some pictures of the Milky Way. Um, it's about nine o'clock so we've probably got up to about maybe half past ten I'm going to be out there till so let's see what we can do. 
just before I head out there, I just want to show you this building over the road here. Look at the lights on this building. This is unbelievable. This is a civic building here in St. Anne's and these lights, these, I mean, it's lit up like a football stadium. This is what I hate about some of these lights that are unnecessary. This is just insane. It's a bit breezy. Anyway, I'm going to be heading out here, out onto the beach. And uh, like I said before, um, we're not looking at a particularly dark sky, but we're certainly looking towards the darkest part of the sky around here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I hope you can see me okay. I'm now out beyond the pier and I've got the jetty uh, just in front of me here. Now, you can't see it, you won't show up on the camera. So what I'll do is I'll show you a photograph of it. And uh, funny enough, I've, I've already picked up the Milky Way already on the photograph. But um, we do have a bit of a problem and it's really, really hazy. I noticed when I walked out, when, we saw, when I showed you those buildings before with the really bright floodlights, I could see a very thick kind of haze. It, it, like all the light was traveling across the beach. And that's what happens when you get like a sort of moisture in a haze, the light pollution gets even worse. And um, we're gonna struggle to get a really decent picture of the Milky Way. But as you can see from that picture, I've already got it. And this video is just to really give you a good idea of how to get a half decent picture of the Milky Way to give you a chance to get it yourself. Well, I've just been taking some more pictures and um, the, the light pollution is pretty bad. Right, okay, so before I do any more, what I want to do is I want to show you all what I can see all around here. Now, currently facing back towards Blackpool and I hope that this shows on the video, um, there's absolutely major light pollution coming from there. And it's not so much the illuminations, this is more the pleasure beach that's giving off all that um, glow there. And I'm just going to take a picture of that now, just to give you an example. Yeah, so as you can see, the Pleasure Beach, the floodlights that shine up at the Big One roller coaster, are the major source of light pollution that we have here in Blackpool at this time of year. And uh, that's why I needed to get away from there, to come down here, because um, it would be impossible to try and take a picture of the Milky Way there with all those lights going on. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around now. I'm going to have a look at some other stuff that I can see. We're panning along St. Anne's Promenade here. Just coming up to the pier now. Getting to the hotels over here. Can you see that bright speck in the sky over there? Well, that's Mars. I'll just uh, dial the exposure down a bit. Or like what it looks like to me. Yeah, so that bright speck there is Mars. So I'm going to carry on panning round. That's towards the east, by the way. Now coming down towards towards the south, which is roughly where we're pointing for the Milky Way tonight. That south port over there. Quite a bit of light pollution coming from over there and Liverpool as well. So there's quite a glow over there. And now, hopefully, you can see two, two uh, specks in the sky there. And those are Jupiter on the right and Saturn on the left. And I'll be doing a video taking a picture of those using a smartphone and a telescope. So look out for that. So there you are. Jupiter and Saturn. Where I'm going to be shooting is just over here, this direction here. Now you can't see anything, but what I'll do is I'll take another picture now and uh, see if we get anything different to what we got before. Actually, the chap that was lying on the ground that you could see in the picture before, I actually knew him. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've also bumped into somebody else that I know as well. Hi, everyone. 
shooting in Starman. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's amazing who you bump into when you when you're out on the beach at night. <laughs> I've got uh, Singh here, who I know. Uh, so there's uh, the other lad's gone. Yeah, the other lad's gone home. So there's there's two of us out here now, and we're both just. Uh, just enjoying the night sky really and taking some pictures so I'm going to run through the settings that I'm using on the camera now just to take you through everything that I'm doing okay so here's my camera here and it's facing towards the jetty and I've got a 24 to 70 millimeter f2 point lens lens on and I'm using the lens at 24 millimeter its widest point now if I put the settings on now um, we do have a problem with this haze which I mentioned before which is making the light pollution even worse so i'm using a 20 second exposure at f 2.8 and iso 1600 so i'm just going to take another picture now using these settings and we'll see what we get right okay so before i actually take any pictures of stars again i want to show you how i focus so i've turned the camera back towards the promenade in st anne's and i'm gonna just zoom in on the screen here this is probably going to look really messy on the screen but if I come down now to where the buildings are and I'm going to try the AF on the camera I'm going to try the AF and see if that will AF on those buildings and I think it has done um, let's zoom right in so we're right in there and I think that that is in focus I think the AF's done a good job so Oh, what's it doing now so I would say that uh, it's now in focus the camera so we're ready to take pictures of the Milky Way now another way of doing it would be to uh, point at a, a bright star now we've actually got Mars up there so if I zoom in on Mars I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen right okay so here we have Mars I'm not sure if you can see this but it's like a speck on the screen there and the other way to focus would be to zoom right in on that and make it as small as possible and that way then you'll know you've got your focus so i'll just have a go at that now just to make sure you see it bloats there when it's out of focus so we take it right down until it gets as small as it can and then we know we're in focus so that's another way to focus. So now we're ready to take pictures of the Milky Way. Now then, look at that. Can you see that? Uh, I'll show the picture on the screen now. Okay, so I'm just showing you the picture on the screen now that I've just taken. And we can see the jetty there in the foreground. And um, if I go to the lower left of the jetty, if we zoom down there, we can, we can see the Milky Way, obviously, we can see these, just about see the puffy star clouds of the Milky Way. And if you look to the lower left of the jetty there, you can see Jupiter and Saturn, just above the, um, the finial there on the left. And if we look a little bit lower down than them, you can just about see the stars of Sagittarius. So if we zoom right in, those are the stars that we were talking about that are shaped a bit like a teapot. Now, as you can see, they're very, very low down. In fact, part of the constellation is set for us now. You can just about see the handle there just above the, uh, the, the legs on the jetty. So uh, I don't think we've done too bad tonight, really. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera around so it's in portrait mode. And, and try and grab more of the Milky Way as it comes down the sky. So it's, it's, it's coming down almost vertical now and I think we need to turn it into portrait mode uh, so that we can get more of the stars. So let's do that then. Okay, so I've taken a picture in portrait mode and as you can see, I can get quite a bit more of the, uh, the sky and the Milky Way. But the slight problem is, is that it's a bit of a squeeze as you can see. Uh, from where I am now, I'm only just managing to fit the jetty into the shot. So what I need to do is I need to move back a bit so that I can fit the jetty into the shot comfortably. So let's do that then. Right, so actually I really like this picture. Um, so you, you can see now that I've 
I've got the jetty in the shot quite easily, uh, nicely composed there and we've even got my friend there down in the in the foreground you can see there I think he's going to like this picture I think I'll send it to him okay so I'm now back at the star bus and uh, I just bumped into somebody else on the way back um, so that's three people I've met on the beach tonight that I, I know all of them uh, how amazing is that so anyway um, really hazy conditions out there couldn't see the Milky Way by eye because of all this uh, kind of kind of like a sea mist but um, the main purpose of the video was to, just to give you an idea of what settings to use where to point how to focus that sort of thing and uh, how to compose a photograph of the Milky Way so I hope I've done that and um, if you like the video hit the like button and hit subscribe to see more videos like this one I think in the next video I might be taking pictures of the planets using a smartphone. Not sure about that, but uh, look out for it. And I will see you again on the next video.